Hey guys, Anthony for Before Diesel. This is the most important uh, 10 minutes you can spend under a 150 Prado. So we're just going to get in there and have a bit of a look around uh, inspection wise. This is a free inspection. I've mentioned about the free inspections before. This one just happens to be by luck because you know, he's getting the injector job done and uh, some other works and the vehicle had to go up in the hoist for a transmission flush. So I thought, well, while it's up there, we'll do a free inspection. That'll offset some other pain and suffering. So 200, just a bit over 200,000 Ks, what are we going to look at? Well, straight away, we want to look for oil leaks. And the reason I'm still here is because I don't see any oil leak, but see how the back half of that bash plate is oily in color and it looks like it's had the dust stick to it. it looks like it's been covered in oil or it just doesn't look like this one look there's a bolt missing by the way that bolt that's there should be another one here uh, probably a few other bits and pieces missing too but the most important 10 minutes what do we got original suspension that has got to go okay usual rack boots sweat probably yep usual uh cv drive shafts no problem they can stay there Nothing to worry about with those. Yep, they look good. Upper ball joints, lower ball joints, all good. Everything's good. Usual sweat at this side. Yep, whatever. Not worried about that. Okay, let's have a look at these bushes in the control arm. Mm, those ones look pretty good. These ones. Look, they're just starting to crack on the ins on the left side there. See, just on the left. I'm trying to get the right angle there. Just on the left side of the pit, you can see. You know, you can see the rubber, don't worry about all the little hairline cracks. So they're actually in really good condition for 215k on original suspension. And this one, you know how I said it's usually a mirror image? It is, you can see a tiny little, just starting a little bit at each end, but they're not even, then you don't even need to start saving for these yet. Keep doing everything the same. Get it up on, um, let's get it up on some proper suspension it's a bit firmer maybe or just freshen it up freshen up the dampness so it's not bouncing around so much now the reason this looks a bit like that we just did a transmission flush so where we've cleaned the uh use a bit of brake cleaner to clean up around the drain plugs that sort of thing we don't leave a trace of oil it's still going to get washed obviously when it goes out we're not servicing it or anything like that we're just doing a bit of inspection most important 10 minutes so i'm going to make my way so I go up and down the vehicle a number of times. The first one's a quick look to see anything major, obvious. And I'm sort of like trying to keep you in the picture with what I'm looking at. Don't call me. The phone doesn't ring. Text messages on Mondays for parts. Or if you want to book into the Prado Hospital. I'm busy throughout the rest of the week. I prefer you avoid. Phone calls full stop. I'll make the call if it's required. Brake pads. Yeah, they seem to have at least 50% there. We're not servicing. We don't need to be too accurate about it. Quick look there. They're all right. Just if there's anything obvious safety-wise. Obviously, it doesn't do any or a lot of off-road. You can see the floor is clean like a new one. Bit of dust up there. So I might have seen a little bit of dirt roads, but you could... Yeah, it doesn't take much to get that. Unless they haven't butchered his diff plugs. Hopefully, the oil's been changed. Fuel filter, it's probably been changed at least a couple of times, but no damage on the fuel tank. At the front there in the typical places where they get hit, there's a little few scratches there. All right. There's nothing to see here. This is a typical Toyota. Look how good the muffler is, the condition of the materials, right? Um, there's nothing to see here, all right? Again, original. So what are we looking at here? Tyres, these are perfectly suitable tyres for most people that are on road, that go on a couple of dirt roads. Nothing wrong with old Bridgestones. They last all right and grip all right. They work well for on the road. I'd be putting uh, some shockers in it, shockers and coilovers, struts, shockers at the front, whatever you want to call them. You know what I mean? We know what we're talking about. The rubber looks all right. They're a bit worn. Time to start saving up for some tyres. Um, just going over it again because there's nothing to see at the back half. Let's have a look at, you know, we've got, oh look, we've got a transfer case oil leak. Well, quick, pull out the transfer case and let's, you know, do major works and repairs to fix that seal. No, look at it, you know, it's like barely even wet and it's like barely even worth talking about. 
So you just ignore it. You can wash it, or if you want, you can put the little bit of RTV over it. It's not that we know that compartment doesn't have oil in it. Well, it's not meant to anyway. It's a super small amount, but if you want to make it look toddy to make you feel better, you can do that little RTV thing. All right. It's been getting plenty of grease in the uni joints and slip joints. That's good. We like that. Let's keep looking around in case we find something else. We've got. What do we got to go? We got. We're only five minutes. We've got another five minutes yet. We might find something yet. Going around up there. Needs a bit of a clean up still after the uh, injector replacement job. Engine wash down. We can see a bit of oil. That's what. See that bit of oily stuff there. That's all it's going to be. Just needs a bit of a clean up because it's been worked on. A little bit of oil on the front diff actually. I oh, know that's. Again, that'll be the fuel, all part of that job, right? Right, drive shafts, boots, ball joints, on a visual, everything's good. You know, by kilometres, should probably replace those front wheel bearing assemblies. Right, turbo, bone dry. I mean, it's even got a kind of like a sweat on it, but in my opinion, you know, that's bone dry. Uh, engine mounts look good. No need to change those as prevention. It's more the 120s, they had a bit of an issue. I can't see anything. This is bloody awesome, and this is why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why this is awesome, right? A couple of reasons. Uh, I think it's a 2014, right? So, last of the best. Uh, funny that. When you get an awesome vehicle, it's only going to be as good to you as you are to it. Well, it's actually going to be better to you than you are to it, right? So, this thing's awesome. It can do with a bit of cleaning up. You know, it's not... It's done over 200,000 Ks. It's had general service and a bit of butcherism at that. But, you know, it could do with a bit of cleaning up, a few extra things like some wheel bearings, a bit of a clean up of the bash plates, stuff like that. You know, what you get from putting grease in the drive shafts, you get that. And, um, you know, that whole pan will come up black, you know, we'll hit it with their degreaser. But, yeah, that's what you get. You know, we've cleaned it a bit too much, unfortunately, haven't we? You get that. But isn't that better than having oil sitting there dripping? And if he looks under there, he can go... Yep, they've definitely done it. It's not a maybe. It's not a they told me they did it. No, not that anyone... Uh, we've got a pretty good trust thing going on here with everybody. I don't want vehicles here. If people don't trust me, then don't bring your vehicle here. Nothing worse than, uh, you know... Yeah, oh, you, you don't trust me that I'm going to change your oil filter or your oil. Or, you know, if you think you need to mark filters or something with me, you better uh, you better go somewhere else. But, you know, go ahead, do it just good, good, do a good job of it so that I don't know it's there because I don't want to know about it, okay? Um, I think we're just about done. On this free inspection, we're going to have to discount it down to a really low price because being a 14 last of the best, it's in such good condition. There's nothing to see here without at least putting our hands on it. I'm still looking around trying to find something I can talk to you about. Fuel core has got a bit of grease on it, you get that. Mate, can you look under this car and try and find a problem, something we can talk about? Because it's getting boring on a 215,000 K vehicle. There's nothing to talk about. I have a look and there's nothing to see. Nothing to see. I just found this bolt here missing. That's it. Uh, you know, without going into two hands, I need to put the camera down. A bit of black on there. Don't worry about that. It's nothing. I don't even know what it is. Um, what it is, it'll be some degrees or something from further up and whatever some sort of cleaning or whatever and it's run down inside that garden it's stripped onto there and that's it it's just nothing it's not even worth talking about i haven't even ever thought about what that is i've seen it before and it just doesn't matter yep nothing boring this is well, i think we might call this one the most boring 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 free inspection video because i couldn't even fill up 10 minutes with what to look at so we're just about done I know, I appreciate everyone watching and the support. Um, for those people that hung around to the end, you know, I'm really busy. I can only help the people that listen. So this is the little message for those that listen. Because some people missed it. Don't call me. Because <laughs> there's all these people that keep trying to call. And I don't know if they think I'm some, you know, free advisory service. You've got a problem with your car, just ring Anthony. He'll tell you all about it. It doesn't work that way. I did you... I'm busy, right? But they, all these people, they didn't get that. I am busy. I'm busy, busy, busy. And I can't take calls to help people. All the help is on our YouTube channel. It's on our Facebook groups. If you've got one of these vehicles or any vehicle, 4 before Diesel is the group on Facebook that you want to be part of. If you want to go and ask for help and say, hey, 
I got this car and I've had it this long and I've got this problem. There's a whole heap of people there, like the people that are listening right now that are still around, that have learnt a lot, they've got these vehicles, they've experienced these things or they've seen someone else and we can all help each other because there's only one of me and I can't do it all. We're going to go and clean this up. That's a video guys, you know, I mean, that's as much as I could get out of it. Thanks for watching. You know, the like button, subscribe, bell on, check out the other videos, they're better than this. We've got a whole vehicle inspection playlist. Check them out thoroughly if you're looking at purchasing a Prado or you want to look after your own so you know what to look for and you get familiar with what things should look like under here. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.